GameStop. I learned something cool about GameStop, as we know. I mean, everybody knows about the whole stock thing with GameStop and how essentially regular people started um, to play the same game that rich people have been playing forever and uh, manipulating the stock market. And the moment, the moment poor people start to do it, they get upset and try to put it into it. But besides, besides that, um, I found out um, some things that GameStops have, have been um, trying to do to you know, stay relevant because they were going out of business. And one of those things is um, basically kind of becoming a bit of a, like a builder bear for PCs because not everybody knows how to build a PC. You could look it up on YouTube and figure it out. But if I'm being honest, I'm the type of person of, if I could just pay somebody to do it for me, I would, <laughs> um, which I could really technically. But um, essentially they're thinking of becoming something like that, a place where you can buy PC parts, you can have somebody build the PC for you and then you can come and pick it up. Or you could sit in there with them as they build the PC and they show you how to build it like in the store. And I think that's, that's actually, cool. really, I, yeah, I think that's actually a really good business model and a good place for them to like switch over to. So they could actually continue to sell video games for physical copies while also doing the PC thing. I think that could be really dope. Um, they're also um, fighting for the rights of people owning digital copies of games. If you don't know, when it comes to um, digital um, digital games, when you buy a digital game, you aren't you don't own it. You you are buying a license to play the game, which is which means that, in a sense, if they wanted to, they could kind of take that game away, <laughs> which would be messed up if they did. But you don't actually own that digital. You don't actually own that digital copy that you downloaded you own the rights to play that digital copy that you that you downloaded, <laughs> that's it. And they're fighting for the rights for you to own that digital copy, therefore have the option of reselling it. Because that's one of the biggest problems, we talked about it before with buying games digitally, there is no, op there is no way to resell it. So if you buy a game, don't like the game, you're just stuck with the game that you spend like $60 on. Rather than being able to go, man, this game sucks. I want my money back, or I want a portion of my money back, like you would be able to do if you bought a game from GameStop. So GameStop's fighting for that, which you know makes sense because they're notorious for, even though their deals be trash. You come in there with a PS5, they'll probably give you twenty dollars for it. <laughs> um, so, just to end this off, apparently I have ten minutes left. Oh my god, this hasn't happened to me on Zoom in a long time. So. <laughs> So 